All right, guys, check it out. Before we get into this video, Watch Cycle reached back out to me and uh, informed me they wanted to do a giveaway on the channel. This is what the giveaway is gonna be. One 12 volt, 100 amp hour mini Bluetooth battery, one 12 volt, 50 amp hour battery, and one 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery. It's part of their Black Friday campaign because they're running all these sales on Black Friday. What they're asking that you do, you simply follow Watt Cycle on their official account, leave a comment on this video, just tell us what would you use a Watt Cycle battery for? And it must have the hashtag Watt Cycle at the end of the comment, so don't forget that. Leave a comment, what would you use the Watt Cycle battery for? Hashtag Watt Cycle. All right, and when those steps are completed, you'll be entered in drawing. And it's gonna be a random selection from the comment section, all three of those batteries watt cycle is going to give away they'll be shipped directly from watt cycle let's get back to the video let's check these batteries out hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is mike today we're going to take a look at watt cycles 12 volt 628 amp hour battery it is an absolute beast one of the biggest ones you're going to get on the market right now all right if you looked at my previous videos we installed watt cycles two of them they're 314 amp hour 24 volt batteries we got them hooked up in our adventure trailer uh, up to the EG4 6000 XP, and they've been performing flawlessly. I couldn't be more happy with them. So what we got here, she is an absolute beast, and I can't say it enough. You can have 628 amp hours, 12.8 volts, with a watt hour capacity of 838 watt hours in one battery. So if you stick around, I got something planned that you're gonna really enjoy. I've got three more of them. And we're gonna put them all in series, and we're gonna hook them up right here to the 12,000 XP with our equal worthy server rack batteries. And we're gonna hook them up to a bus bar system I got. We're gonna put her on in line. So energy, energy storage, it is massive capacity and it's Black Friday right now. So they are running some pretty amazing prices with them, man. $9.99, you can get you one of these batteries, which I think is a pretty dang good deal. So let's just go over a few specs about it and get you familiar with it. All right, so when you unbox the battery, you're gonna get a little bag of your M8 terminals. You're gonna have the long ones and the short ones with some caps on it. Then you're gonna get your terminal connectors right here. Then it's gonna have like a little sheet in it that's uh, the inspection sheet with everything, you know, checked off past. You're gonna have that along with this. And then your user manual, which one manual covers all of their, pretty much all of their 12 volt batteries. And it's got a lot of useful information in it. It tells you pretty much everything you're gonna to wanna to know about the battery. Key features, charge, discharge curve, uh, product specs, charging, installation guide, BMS function, Pretty nicely detailed user's manual, man. I really like it. All right, with this battery, you can go four in series or four in parallel. That's the max you can do with it. All right, and it is a smart battery, uh, which we'll get into the Bluetooth app here in a minute. I'm gonna show you about that. All right, when you unbox the battery, when it comes in, it's gonna come in at 50%. All right, it's rated to 6,000 cycles till you get to 80% depth of discharge. All right, and as far as idle consumption goes, if it's just sitting, you're gonna use about 3% of battery per month. All right, that covers some of the key features of the battery. Let's open it up and take a look at it. All right, pulling the lid off here. Man, look at there. Pretty much like their uh, 314 amp hour 24 volt battery. Really, really heavy metal case. Built really, really well. I like that. All right, we're gonna take this fiber board off here. All right, first impressions looking at it, I see a lot of similarities with the 314 amp hour battery, but there is some differences. One thing that strikes me right off the bat is um, the balance leads are soldered onto the bus bars right here, you can see. Not really a big fan of that. The 314 amp hour battery had ring terminals screwed onto the bus bars, but they got seem to have some kind of epoxy hard coating over it. So maybe, you know, maybe that'll help hold it a little better. But, but anyway, you got nice bus, thick bus bars with expansion in between them. Wire management looks good, as usual. Watt Cycle has pretty good build quality. Your vent caps are all open. Now, another little difference between the 314 amp hour 24 volt. If you look down here, you see your bus bars, they're multiple plates together. And the 314 amp hour was a solid one. Well, I'm not knocking it. That's not anything really bad. But uh, everything is pretty solid. You got your inspection marks on everything. As far as your temperature sensors go, I see you got one here, two, three and four, your four temperature sensors. They're glued right to the top of the cells. I mean, overall, your build quality is really excellent, real solid, heavy metal case. Now, as far as your cells go, there's your QR codes right there. I am gonna write them numbers down and we're gonna run them and let's take a look and see what they are. All right, these come back as 314 amp hour rep cells. Now, if you remember, 
my previous video, the 314 amp hour, 24 volt, they were uh, Eve cells. Rep cells, they're just equally as good. They are a very popular brand. They are absolutely grade A cells. I have no, absolutely no problem with the cells. All right, you do have banding. If you see the green banding down in there, all the cells are banded, encased in with the metal case. You got fiberboard with insulation there. The fiberboard does continue between every cell. Really can't see it to tell you what, what BMS we're dealing with, but uh, I do see it says watt cycle on it. So just as a 314 amp hour, assuming it's a branded watt cycle BMS. Overall, I don't have any complaints with the build quality of this battery. I'm equally as impressed with it as I was the, tw the 24 volt battery. Laser welded bus bars, all the laser welds look great. All right, so let's get the cover back on it and we'll get a capacity test pulled on it. Looking here at the watt cycle app, we got both batteries showed up, so we'll confirm, connect to this one. All right, there you go. It takes a second to register. Shows the batteries at 100%. Shows you your voltage, your amps, and your current. You can turn on and off charging and discharging right here. And it'll give you your warning if you go over temperature, any BMS warnings. You can go into your settings right here. It gives you a whole bunch of information, the software version. You can reset it to the factory data reset. Register the warranty, privacy agreement, email, phone number, the operation manual. It'll take you to the website. You touch settings. Right here is all the settings for the battery's parameters. You can go in and change them, but I highly do not recommend doing that unless you absolutely know what you're doing. If, but it, there is a little safe net, safety net. If you do change it, you can go back in there where I showed you previously and do the factory data reset. Another thing you have here is an option that we will be putting to the test is the new parallel mode option. You turn it off or on. If you're gonna put them in parallel, you set it to parallel mode. We're gonna turn it off for now. We'll come back to that whenever we set both batteries up in parallel. And there's your battery. Real simple app. I think it's a great, great app. Absolutely love it. All right, we're gonna get this one ready for a capacity test. We have got a 3000 watt inverter right here. It's set up on a Victron shunt. And we are gonna pull it at a 0.2 C rate, which on this battery, it should equate to around 1500, right at 1500 watts, a little bit over. And we're gonna pull that until she is dead. And that's gonna give us our capacity. And then we'll touch our resistor here so we can charge up the capacitors and our inverter. Hold that for a few seconds. All right, so we're just a little above a 0.2 C. We're 129 amps. 1708, 1705 watts. So we're gonna let this test run. We're gonna see what capacity we get out of this battery. All right, so we got a little update right now. The first capacity test went through and we pulled 638 amp hours. So right now we are running a second one. On our second capacity test, we are currently at 502 amp hours with 22% of battery left. I wanna up a little higher on the wattage on this one to see what we do. So I'm pulling 2,000 watts on this one. All right, well, there we go, guys. 628 amp hours on the second capacity test. That is a win. We're going to let her go and see how far she goes, let the inverter shut us off on low voltage. And uh, we're going to see what we got. Can she do it? Let's see if we can get 48 out of it. 648 amp hours. That'll be a whole 20 amp hours more than what the rated capacity is which would be incredible. Final tally, 649. All right, let's get a weight on this sucker. Let's see exactly how much it weighs. Emmanuel said that it was uh, 153 pounds, but I know the 314 amp hour 24 volt battery was. So we're gonna see what this is. I don't think this one's quite 153 pounds, but it's close. All right, she came in at an even 133 pounds. I think, you know, I don't know if I didn't add it or not, man, the, the handles, I love the handles. They are absolutely robust, strong handles. By far, I think the watt cycle 314 amp hour 24 volt and the 12 volt 628 amp hour batteries are some of my favorite batteries on the market right now. For the price for what you get, $9.99, smart battery, Bluetooth, absolutely well built. You know, and reading it, man, the warranty that Watt, Watt Cycle's offering on it, you get a five-year warranty on it, 
And if you register it, you get an extra two years added to it. So you get a total of seven years warranty on this battery, which is incredible. All right, so that being said, we went over a few things. We had an amazing capacity test. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use them. You're free to use them however you like. I think, you know, due to the, the, just the sheer weight of them and everything, it's an excellent option for home energy storage, which is exactly how I'm gonna use it. All right, so this is what we're gonna do here. We are gonna make a 628 amp hour, 48 volt battery bank. So you're looking at over 32,000 kilowatts of power right here with these four batteries. This is equivalent to my six rack server rack batteries with a little more to spare. All six of those eco-worthy server rack batteries don't equal to this. You look at six eco-worthies, you're looking at what, $800 a piece now? There's six of them, $999, $999, $999, and $999. Now you don't have the communications and everything, but the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna leave the eco-worthy communicating with the 12,000 XP. We're gonna run around to my Lynx distributor and the Lynx distributor is gonna to go to the EG4. So when I have the Eco-Worthies and these going to the Lynx, then going to the EG4. This is cheap, expandable home backup. So real simple, I made my cables already. And don't give me a hard time about the gauge of my cables. These are temporary. I got some more cables ordered, but uh, we're just gonna show you how we're gonna put it together and get a voltage reading on it. They're all charged up to 100%, so we are good to go there. We are just simply gonna go positive to negative. With our positive to our negative. I cannot wait to get these going, man. All right, let's see what we got here. 54.43. That is what we want. We'll just put our terminal caps on. And I do have me a uh, battery equalizer order. I'm going to put, them, put a battery equalizer on to help keep everything all in line, all my voltage is correct between all four of them. Truth be told, I have a battery balancer, equalizer, I burned it up. Got a little mixed up on my wires and burn it up. So I gotta order another one. So we'll put these on here for now and we'll just leave these hooked up in a 48 volt and they should equal out just sitting here. Watt cycle, 628 amp hour, 48 volt home storage battery bank. Like I said, she's gonna run along that wall, back here to the links, up here to the 12,000 XP. So that puts me at about 63 kilowatts of storage. You can never have, any, you can never have too much. So I'll leave a link in the description. You guys go check it out. Go check out Watt Cycle. 12 volt, 24 volt, golf cart batteries, it don't matter. Go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Discount code, help save you a little bit of money. We'll see you guys on the next one.